Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joanna for those of you who don't know. In this video I'm going to be showing you what I did to prevent stretch marks in my last pregnancy and what I'm doing in this pregnancy to prevent stretch marks this time around. I have a different skincare routine this time or belly care routine. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. So my last pregnancy, which was my first child, um, I was not planning to get pregnant at all. And I didn't really know anything about stretch mark preventions. I had heard about like Palmer's, cocoa butter, stuff like that, but I just I just wanted to know like from someone who had already prevented stretch marks themselves, like what they did. And the only, I guess, um, advice that I had gotten was from a, a close friend of mine at the time who she had just gone through a pregnancy. She was like, okay, what I used was this product and it's here called Mustela. The bottle is different on Amazon now. It's like a like redesigned bottle, but I guess the formula is still the same. This is Mustela and this is what she used to prevent stretch marks and I was like, "Bet I'm buying the same thing. Like I'm going to use it." And I went ham with this. Like this is not cheap. 8.45 US fluid ounces and I think I went through I, think I went through like 6 or 7 of these in my pregnancy and at the time I think they like upped the price because of like COVID and everything so I think I was paying about like 40 like 40 to 45 dollars a bottle last time from what I understand right now on Amazon I think they go for like 38 or 37 dollars a bottle but yeah um, this is what I used pretty much my entire um, last pregnancy and it prevented stretch marks 100% I also used it in conjunction with bio oil as well just because I had heard so many good things the only two products that I used my last pregnancy and I didn't get a single stretch mark I'll go ahead and show you right now my belly what it looks like I am pregnant again that's why my stomach looks like this but look no stretch marks no stretch marks show you I have absolutely no stretch marks None on my thighs, my butt, nothing. Yeah, I don't have stretch marks anywhere in my body from my first pregnancy. None on my breasts, my thighs, my butt, my belly, nowhere. And I know that some people say that it's genetic and whatever. My mom had stretch marks. Like if I know that I can do whatever I can to try and prevent stretch marks, I will do just that. And if, you know, I do get a stretch mark, whatever. You know, it is what it is. At least I know that I did everything that I could to prevent them. I will say disclaimer though, for this. Again, like I said, it's pricey. If your sense of smell, especially first trimester, is like very, very, very sensitive, be careful. I would say maybe don't get this because this like, okay, my last pregnancy, my sense of smell was like so sensitive this was so freaking hard to put on every day three times i would put on like three times a day yeah so i would put this and this on three times a day granted like it was again during the pandemic so it was like i was home so i had the time to put it on three times a day um but yeah this is very very heavily scented heavily scented so it's like like i would say postpartum when i smelled it again i was like oh like, i actually kind of like the smell but during pregnancy i felt like it was really really strong but again i didn't really know a lot of like women who had like gone through pregnancy and whatever who use creams that actually prevented pregnancy um i mean that actually prevented stretch marks um so when my friend told me that and she showed me her belly i was just like i'm gonna use the same exact cream that she used so i was like like i was kind of like just enduring the smell of this cream just because I was like, I don't want stretch marks. You're so young, and you just like, I want my body to look so good after pregnancy, I don't want a single stretch mark. So I, I literally endured my whole pregnancy putting this on, even though I could not stand the effing smell of this. It is so strong. So if you have a sensitive nose, I will caution you about that. Those two products, I'll link it in my Amazon storefront below in the description. Now, these are the products that I'm using this time around. So I am using literal pure unrefined shea butter, and it's actual like butter, guys. Like, I just dip my finger in and it comes out. Look, I'm gonna show you. you. Dip your finger in. And look, it's like butter, pretty much. Like butter, you like rub it on, like you rub it between your hands or whatever. And you rub it all over your belly. And guys, like I would say if you're gonna use actual literal shea butter, like butter, um, always have a, like a little hand towel nearby. That way you can wipe your hands um, clean when you're done. I will say that it takes a while um, for the shea butter to, I guess, dry. It doesn't really dry. That's the problem. So it's like if you're scared of getting your nice clothes covered in butter and whatever, I, I maybe this method might not be for you. 
but this is what I'm using because I don't really care about like the clothes like the, the clothes that I'm wearing for my pregnancy are kind of just like baggy clothes that I don't really care about so I don't really mind getting like getting them all buttery and whatever but yeah this is what I'm using mainly for this pregnancy and this is I'm using this all over my belly as well as the bio oil now on my legs and my thighs and my butt and my breasts I'm using the Palmer's cocoa butter the stretch mark one now I want to talk about this because I see a lot of like people saying that they use this to prevent stretch marks during their pregnancy if you go to the reviews on Amazon and look at the reviews on Amazon from actual people who've bought this product a lot of the reviews say that they still got stretch marks a lot of the reviews say that they still got stretch marks if you don't believe me literally go right now on Amazon open another tab and look for yourself there are so many reviews that say that they still got stretch marks they're like oh I still got stretch marks but I got like one or two and this helped to fade them that's one of like the top comments you will see. I don't want a single stretch mark. I don't want this product to fade any stretch marks. I don't want stretch marks, period. So I'm using this in conjunction with this because I know 100% that this definitely prevents stretch marks. This is like, I, I'm pretty sure you could probably just use this on your belly and it would probably prevent stretch marks. Like you don't have to use this cream or whatever. But again, this is just pure oil. So it's like, I'd like to rub the oil with kind of like a cream to, to make it absorb better into my skin. Does that make sense? I feel like if I just put this purely on my skin, it's not gonna absorb as well as if I put them together. I feel like somehow mixing it with a cream, whether it's this one or this one, just helps it to dry down faster in my experience. These two products on my breast, my legs, my butt, my thighs, whatever. So yeah, if you're gonna use the Palmer's Cocoa Butter, I would definitely, definitely recommend you to also use it in conjunction with bio oil because again, I'm not 100% sure that this actually does prevent stretch marks. Again, look at the reviews. So yeah, that is what I'm doing this time around for my pregnancy. I will say though, this is starting to kind of get annoying using this butter. I do like it, the smell is really nice. Not like um, heavily perfumed. It does have a shea butter smell to it but again like i said it's like i'm kind of like covering myself in butter all the time and i'm not really liking the feeling of it especially now that the weather is getting hot right now it is may 12th summer is like right around the corner i don't want to walk around with butter covering my whole torso on a hot like 80 90 degree summer day in new york you know so i'm thinking of switching to the palmer's tummy butter and using this as well like so bio oil and the Palmer's tummy butter together um, I don't have any like pimples or acne on my my torso at all so it hasn't broken me out but again like if you don't like that greasy feeling I completely understand and if that's the case then just go ahead and get like a, a cream and an oil together um, again these products will also be listed in my Amazon storefront. And if you do go ahead and use the shea butter, again, get yourself a little hand towel or something to be able to wipe off your hands when you're done, like, you know, buttering yourself up. So yeah, that's everything that I use to prevent stretch marks. I will also say stay hydrated because drinking water is really, really important to making sure that your skin, I guess, has elasticity. So Definitely drink lots of water. Very important. Another thing, if you are itchy at all, like it, it, you get to a point in your pregnancy where your belly is gonna get really, really itchy, your boobs too, maybe even your thighs, don't scratch with your nails. Because if you scratch with your nails, you're going to give yourself stretch marks, even if you're using these creams or whatever. You have to be really gentle with your skin at this time because your skin is stretching and like expanding. Um, and it is, it, it, you know, it's, kind of primed I guess like for breakage so if you're like scratching it with long nails like I have um, my nails are kind of sharp too you're gonna create a stretch mark so what I do is if I'm like itchy get your knuckles and just rub you can rub hard don't be scared just rub and then your belly too if your belly is itchy just rub the spot that's itchy just literally don't be scared rub it and yeah that is everything that i did to prevent stretch marks my last pregnancy and this pregnancy as well so thank you guys so much for watching and staying until the end of this video if you liked it please go ahead and give it a thumbs up go ahead and subscribe i will be posting more mommy content on this channel as well and yeah see you in the next video bye